time for our army ant rulers. So back in class, you probably remember making your inchworm rulers where you had 12 inchworms all across, made a one foot ruler. This time you're going to be making a 10 centimeter long um, army ant ruler. Army ants are smaller than inchworms. So they're about a centimeter long, makes them perfect. You're going to have a sheet like this at the end of your packet. What you wanna be sure to do is just make one, if that's all you need. This is copied for um, the entire class where we would make a bunch of copies of these. I'd cut them out and I'd only hand you as a student one. So I don't want you to think you have to make four. Um, and then another tip I have from class, remember it's usually easier to color it while it's still on the page. So you wanna color things in first, I did green and purple because I love green and purple. Um, and then, then cut it out. It'll be easier than trying to color in a tiny strip of paper. So I already did the cutting because I thought you wouldn't want to watch that. But also, normally I would hand you the perfect length of construction paper and you would glue it right on. Um, you might have construction paper at your house. You might have the perfect card for this. If you do, that's awesome. I didn't, but I did one of my favorite things. I went to the recycling and I found a piece of junk mail. And I thought, hey, this has a color that, I don't mind that, kind of nice navy blue. So I already cut it out again. So I lined it up, which is really helpful. You want to make sure you line up before you paste it down or tape it if you don't have glue. Um, you want to line it along the bottom edge, so like along here. So the color goes to the edge, basically. You don't want it floating around in the middle, and you don't want it upside down where the ants are actually along the edge. And then... I just went right up along. Oh, don't cut yourself, Miss Dickie, even though you're not actually cutting. I went right up along at the end there and then cut across that way and mm -hmm. voila. I now have my awesome inchworm ruler. It's kind of hard to see in the light. I'm sorry. It's easier to see down here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so you can now use this to measure things. For example, these adorable post-its right here. Hmm. I'm going to be sure I line it up. I'll just plunk it kind of in the middle. That'll be confusing. I don't want to line it up here and go, oh, look, it's 10 centimeters long. Hey, that doesn't make sense, Miss Dickie. So instead, line it up at one end. I count across. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, this is where those alternating colors makes it easier because you can see the squares really easily. I could see this being one where you might say five and a half or you might round it up to six. I'm going to round it up and say... This post-it block is about six centimeters long um, with a glue stick. We're having some fun with school supplies, aren't we? Um, measuring along that, same thing. Hmm. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks like almost exactly nine centimeters long. Hmm, that's interesting. This measures really nicely with centimeters. So. That gives you your army ant ruler. You can then use it all throughout the week um, on your math pages. And just out of curiosity, we do that sometimes in class where we try to estimate how long something is and then measure it to see, see and compare, start to develop our skills with estimating. Um, so you could have fun measuring lots of things with centimeters.